Loudspeakers haven't changed much technologically over the years. What has changed <clears throat> is because the ultimate perception of the sound that a loudspeaker produces is processed by us who are a subjective individual, there is no rule that says it has to be a certain way. The only rule is that it must please the listener. Many companies have chosen to either ignore or just aren't aware of how important the perception part of the equation is in understanding what makes a good or not so good sounding loudspeaker. I mean, I can produce in the lab a loudspeaker which on paper and based on subjective evaluations is as good as it gets. The big challenge is how can I do that time and time and time again? Producing one speaker that has all of the criteria you're looking for is one thing. Producing a loudspeaker or a design that is repeatable consistently and with, with relative ease and good value is all, also a very difficult thing to do. What technology has been able to do is because of precision machinery and assembly techniques, some automation materials and, and all the improvements there and getting more consistent and repeatable designs. The other side is the technology that has been gained, particularly in Canada, because of all the research that took place between 1970, say, up to about 19... 90, really, a period of 20 years of very intense, focused research on determining the relationship between what people hear and how a speaker measures. So as a speaker designer, I can be more efficient. That's another area of technology that I can mention, and that is, in, in my early days in designing loudspeakers, the task was very tedious, very time-consuming, because test equipment, test procedures, and physical environments to do measurements were much more antiquated then than they are now. So not only does, do, do, do we build and make more consistently higher performance loudspeakers, we can do it much more efficiently. I can design a loudspeaker, a very, very large part of the loudspeaker, without even listening to it. Listening is really towards the end of the process where you get to a point where you say, now we're ready to listen. Well, the point at which we're ready to listen now is very close to the end of the development of the product. Whereas in the early days, we'd say, okay, let's give it a listen. Oh, well, we're way off. All right, let's do some more work on it. Oh, let's give it another listen. Oh, no, no, we're not there yet. Whereas nowadays, I can get to the point where I go, okay, we're, I bet you we're almost there. So let's go listen to it. Oh, we're there. So... That's technology at play.